how does your brain work? Well, I think of my brain as a living organism in my head. I know some animals have it in their stomachs or legs. That's pretty freaky for us, but I like to think of it metaphorically and psychologically as this sort of thought train and uh, an oil drill, but it's sort of drilling out facts and information. <laughs> it's like a whole world. My brain runs at a gazillion miles an hour, thinking of every possible way that something can work and every possible way that something can go horribly wrong. I've always kind of been curious as to why the brain does what it does, why I get stressed a lot, why does this happen, does this happen a lot to normal people, does this happen to people with Asperger's or who are on the autism spectrum? What do you mean by that? Like, like literally the electra, electrical synapses that happens as different cells connect to each other and um, create memories that are accessed by different neurons. I'm not quite sure how my brain works, so to speak. I just realized from a very early age that it worked quite differently from other people's. It was, among other things, I noticed more literally minded than most. It took a while for my brain to wrap itself around the idea of metaphor and symbolism. My brain works really verbally. Um, I'm able to code and do complex math and programming, however, I'm lacking in doing math like Algebra 2 type mathematics because the way I learn is uh, to associate things with words and when you're coding, it's more like we're having a conversation, I'm having a conversation with a computer, more like I'm having a conversation with you right now. I like to learn by talking with people, but not always, because I don't always like talking to people. I feel that the things I'm interested in, I can focus on it and get it done. But with things that I'm not interested in, like as I was saying earlier, like in humanities with history, or reading books that I don't exactly find interesting. I cannot focus. I, like, on, subconsciously, my brain is telling me, you need to get good grades. You need to do this. And, like, I feel like I have to do it. But at the same time, I'm thinking, this is boring as hell. I don't want to do this. This is awful. Like, this book is awful. Why do we even care about history? As a little kid, I used to spend hours and hours and hours and hours looking on Wikipedia pages. Ooh, this and this and this, and you would read through stuff and like memorize stuff. And for me, it was almost like because you would try and look, like analyze stuff and draw connections between things, and, and that's what it's always been about. And ideas popped in my mind, and it's always trying to figure out stuff. And that's the things, the problems that my mind is best at when it's trying to draw connections and draw lines between things. And that really, more than anything else, is I think what my how my brain thinks is it, it's constantly thinking this and this, and it's like. Ah, uh, we got that. I want to be that guy who sees everything from all perspectives so I can just understand everything. So, a magnet, I guess, maybe? A magnet and a blender, because the magnet pulls, you know, whatever I can use and things that help strengthen me. And then it goes in a blender, and then out comes my perspective on the whole thing. My brain is particularly good at figuring out whether you're an okay person to be around or not. Sometimes the greatest thoughts come from the wandering thoughts.